Bruce, how are you? My very best buddy, my old pal. Hi there, Brucey. <laughs> What's it been? I don't know, three weeks. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, last time I laid eyes on you, must have been... Oh, yeah, you didn't believe me when I told you I killed those agents in self-defense. It really cleared something up for me, because friends trust each other. So, I guess we know what you aren't. Harley and I have the virus, and if we're anything, we're sharers. It's just too fun to keep to ourselves. So picture how it hit you when you lost those few dozen people on the bridge. Now think about all of Gotham. Maybe then you'll know what it feels like when a friendship dies. Batman, over here. What happened? I... You need to see it. He's down that way. We're trying to help him, but... Blood. Fresh. That's familiar. Oh. Bullock. We managed to save him from bleeding out. The clouds. We think it's some kind of booby trap. Until we get someone here with an X-ray, we can't risk moving him. Let me see what I can find. I can't cut him down until I'm sure this isn't some kind of trap. Dilated pupils. Signs of head trauma. Can you tell me what happened? I... I don't know. My stomach, it hurts like hell. With what's happened in Gotham lately, I'm not taking any chances. Something's buried beneath the skin. Some kind of device. Pacemaker. Shrapnel. It's an old wound. Did John do this? Get these people back. It could be a bomb. We need to clear the area! Back up! Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Oh, Jesus. It's safe to cut him down. We're past the sick punchline.
Guess this is the world we live in now. Turns your stomach. Jim. I uh, can't remember the last time I was on this side of a police line. Waller canned me, in case you hadn't heard. Right in front of that lowlife Wayne. Maybe I shouldn't have asked you to do my job for me. But look where it got me, doing it myself. Sorry to hear that. Gotham is worse off because of it. Eh, not the worst thing that's happened. Got a little more time with the wife and kid. And I've been making these cigar boxes, humidors, you know. Keeps the hands busy. Wife thinks I should sell them. But it's still not like being on the front line. Especially when shit like this happens. Vitals are dropping. <laughs> Easy now. Don't move. Oh, Jesus. Now this time off, it's given me some time to think. Back in the day, it was only the gangsters you had to worry about. Now, cops are cut open and filled with carnival toys. Makes you wonder. How'd we get here? I look around, the streets are the same. The only real difference is Batman. You know, I hate saying it, but do you think that we only saw this kind of thing after you showed up? Yeah, you brought in a lot of good collars, so I hope it's not the case, but maybe Batman's made Gotham more dangerous. Kind of up the bar for these freaks. Gotham's in bad shape. You feel it on a day like today. I do all I can to keep these scum off the streets, but I can't do it alone. Help me fight back. I'm not on the force anymore. Oh, hell. I can't keep my hands out of this. I'll poke around, let you know. Hey, uh... I shouldn't have come down on you so hard about arresting Wayne. Yeah, maybe next time we go at it side by side, huh? Batman, Bullock's asking for you. I tracked a stolen van, full of clowns. So I followed to see what they were doing. That was brave, Detective. You did good work. Thanks. Oh, wish I'd stayed home, though. They picked up a drop. Was John Doe with them? They left a box. Oh, goddamn freaks. <laughs> no sign of explosives. Should be safe to open. masks. What kind of attack is he planning? Plastic flowers. He thinks this is all a joke. Automatic weapons. They're heavily armed. Authorized by Wayne Enterprises. And signed for by Chairwoman Regina Zellerbach. Regina can't come to the phone right now. This is her assistant. This is Bruce Wayne. Oh, hello. Tell Regina I need to speak to her. I'll be there shortly. I'll let her know. Thank you. Prices have been holding steady, despite the events of the last few days. But who knows how long that will last, once word gets out. Our CEO brought known terrorists into the building. A security guard was injured. 
He's looking to sue the company. We won't be able to keep a lid on this. We have to take measures to protect Wayne Enterprises. Regina? Speak of the devil. We were just talking about you and your friends from upstate, Bruce. Yeah, I gathered that. Ma'am, he's here. In the board. Maybe there's an explanation. Why would he come back here if he's with them? You had to know it might come to this. Your connection to these felons, whatever it is, it could ruin the company. You have left me with no choice. Ah, that picture. It's not what it looks like. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you about it sooner, but I was helping the feds. Do you have proof of this? If the guard takes us to court? Of course. But there is something we have to talk about. I found this. It appears to be signed by you. What is this? Automatic weapons? Grenades? <laughs> Bruce, truly, I never signed this. I've never even heard of this. <laughs> Bruce? <laughs> What's going on? Start talking! Oh. A priest, a rabbi, and a CEO walk into a boardroom. Priest says, it's a trap! The rabbi says, Joker tricked us! Call security! The CEO doesn't say anything! Because he's dead! <laughs> Did somebody call for backup? Eyes on me, Brucie. If you care one iota for these suits, you'll stand down. I mean it. Get those hands where I can see them. I'm not playing around. Please, Harley, don't. Smart move. Nice work, Kent. You're really moving up the career ladder. What do you want? Thank you oh so very much for asking, Regina. What do you think I want, sweet cheeks? The serum is gone, Harley. It's over. Ain't over till it's over. I was inspired to think outside the box. Oh, here comes my inspiration now. I bring you... Joker! This meeting is now called to order. Regina, good to see you again. Bruce, buddy. Put her there! It's just a handshake. Come on, don't leave a pal hanging. <laughs> that was shocking! <laughs> you get it? <laughs> uh, Bruce, it's been too long. Just finishing up a grand tour of this delightful city. Visited some of our old haunts along the way. But this, Bruce, this has got to be my favorite. My and Pop always said I'd make it to the top one day. Dreams really do come true. Wayne Enterprises. I bet the benefits package is top notch. Does it cover accidental death and dismemberment? John, stop this. It's not too late. Joker, now! You really think I'm going to listen to you? After what you did? <laughs> Can you believe this guy? And now, for my first executive order! You remember that pesky virus, don't you, Bruce? We found a way to make more of it. 
a whole lot more. Wanna do the honest pudding? Oh, honey, you know me so well. <laughs> to be friends, Bruce, but you ruined it, and now we get to be enemies. Don't you thought Riddler was bad? Penguin, Lady Arkham, none of them knew you like I do. I know just how to press those buttons. <laughs> Little but very powerful bomb right there, Gotham. We got a hundred more where that came from. Planted all around the city where you'll never find them. Except for the ones I'm setting off now. No! I sent your friendly neighborhood police force a list of demands. First and foremost, Batman's head on a pike in Gotham Square. He's the one who started. Oh, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> you got 24 hours to make good. So chop chop. <laughs> She's something else, isn't she? All those demands. I've only got one. Stop me, Bruce. Be my best enemy. Be the man. I need you to be. It doesn't have to be this way. We don't have to be enemies. Do you think I'm an idiot, Bruce? You and I both know that's all that's left for us. After what I've done. Oh, toughen up, little canary. Guess you fell off that ladder. Keep the masks on. <laughs> No survivors. Too bad. You done catching up, Mr. J? Place is, uh, starting to stink. We're done. For now. We are going to have so much fun. Till next time, Brucie. Bruce! Bruce, wake up! Thank God. Joker and Harley are gone. Cops are on their way. Let's just get to the lab. <laughs> Tiffany, don't. from accounting? Oh, God. Bruce! I'm okay.
Let me help. Oh, I've got it. Computer, on. All those bodies. I'll... I'll never get that image out of my head. Regina? She... She didn't deserve that. None of them did. I'm sorry, Tiffany. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'll be alright. I have to be. Bruce! Oh, thank God. I saw the news. Tiffany, are you alright? A little shaken, but yeah, I'll be okay. Al, sit rep on the areas impacted by the bombs. I'm on it. Joker and Harley are using the attacks to cover their escape. The authorities have no leads on where they've gone. Harley said they planted bombs throughout the city. I got a piece of fabric off of John. Could give us an idea of where he's been. Let's see what we can learn from this thing. Right. Analysis, trace elements, anything recent. It's chaos, Bruce. Bringing up drone coverage on the blast sites now. And the bombs have an explosive component in addition to the chemical payload. <sighs> Disperses the virus across a larger area. They've closed off the docks. It seems they had to. No one is sure how long the fallout will take to dissipate. That cargo ship, was it... Operational? Unfortunately, yes. Everyone aboard was dead within seconds. One of the bombs detonated on Gotham Bridge. The primary route out of the city. People, they... succumbed to the virus as they were driving. Authorities have shut down the east side and peninsula bridges. For now, there is no way out of Gotham by car. There were multiple explosions along Mercy Street Station. With Gotham General Hospital at the center. They're estimating the death toll at... We have to stay calm, Al. Focus. At this rate, it seems as if nothing can stop them. Maybe. But Joker hasn't told Harley my identity. If he had, she would have taken my head off back there. Perhaps their partnership isn't as stable as they'd like us to believe. He's keeping secrets from her. At least for a time. If I can split them apart, it could at least buy us some time. And we can use that to our advantage. I suppose the question is, how? This is... Insane. We have to shut them down before they burn the city to the ground. A number of foreign particles have been detected on the fabric. Traces of pollen, wax, and wine. That doesn't give us much to work with. Well, you'd be surprised. Joker said he visited some of our old haunts. It appears that he blames you for what he has become. If he hopes to defile the memories of your time together, it will be with more of these chemical bombs. And you think you can cross-reference those places with... With the elements found on the fabric, yes. Huh. That's some hunch. Sometimes a hunch is all a detective has. Uh, the, the cafe, where John opened up to me. You wanted advice on Harley. Feels like so long ago now. Plants, flowers. This could be a match for the pollen sample. Oh, Cafe Trace doesn't have a liquor license. No wine here. Nothing here I'm looking for. John used to run therapy circles at the stacked deck. Perhaps this is where he met his followers.
plenty of wine here. The cleaning polish on the rag contains some wax, but that seems like a stretch. Location's not a good fit. I gotta move on. Divinity Church. John managed to track me here after he got out of Arkham. Dad's funeral. Communion wine. Could be a match. Those candles look recently burned. The traces of pollen are coming from the flowers along the altar. Divinity. That sick bastard. People are afraid. They'll be looking for solace. The church will be full. Harley and Joker knew this when they planted the bomb. Al, contact the agency. Tell them where I'm headed. Right away. Stay alert. Gotham is in a state of panic. there again after what just happened I don't know how you do it you saw those people get massacred and that's just the start I do it because I can't afford to take a night off I do it because people rely on me to be there when things like this happen I do it because I'm Batman then let me help you take my drone with you it can help you find the bomb. Thanks. GCPD and the agency are slammed with everything that's happening. You'll be fighting on your own. I'm never alone out there. I've always had someone watching over me. Joker after a string of biochemical attacks across Gaza. Footage of the suspects was released from inside Wayne Enterprises just moments ago. Warning, what you are about to hear may be disturbing for some listeners. I sent you friendly neighborhood... Waller. Batman. Thank God. I wanted to talk to you about Harley's demands. Portraits of her and Joker painted on City Hall. The brain of Riddler's killer... And my personal favorite, all agency operatives must leave Gotham within the next 24 hours. Except for Amanda Waller, who'll be shot out of a cannon at the stroke of midnight. You know these maniacs better than anyone. What's your take on this? We need to figure out a plan before this gets any worse. With all the time you spent with the Pact, I could use your perspective. Stall for time. Give in to some of their lighter demands. Keep them busy. I consider that possibility myself. Not sure if it'll work, but right now we have to take what we can get. I've got a lead on another bomb. They may have planted one in Divinity Church. I'll do what I can, but I'm stretched thin. Those clowns hit one of my transports, and there's unrest forming across the city because of their demands. Asking for us by name. It's designed to turn the city against us. <laughs> People might just throw us to the wolves to save themselves. I'm starting to wonder if there's a damn thing we can do about it. I'm still here, Waller. You're not alone in this. Together, we can save the city. That's nice to hear you say. I'm sending one of my agents to the church now. An EOD specialist will be close behind. 
Seems to me like both of us can use someone we can trust right about now. Good luck, Batman. While we're out. Our beloved Gotham is under siege. From all sides. It is here. Everyone out! <gasps> what the? Move! Get out of my way! Please, everyone, calm down! I said out. That includes you. <sighs> That's one way to clear the place. Avesta. Batman. Waller sent me to assist. New toy? Something like that. I've calibrated my drone to scan for traces of the virus. You can take the controls while I analyze the data. Gas masks. I'll make sure no one else tries to come inside. Let's get started. Sinking now. How about the North Pews? No, nothing here. Here. Jackpot. If this goes off, it'll kill everyone in a five-block radius. Then you'll... Find a way to disarm it. If we could just see the internal components... Here goes. This bomb has a signal receiver. It can be detonated remotely. Harley said 24 hours. There are no numbers on the timer. Was she telling the truth? Looks in sync with the timer. I can see wires. Let's get a better look. Damn it. Oh, God. It's a trap. We have to identify the wire for the timer. Cutting it should prevent the bomb from going off. Activating electromagnetic imaging. A fail safe. If I cut this wire, it'll activate the bomb. Powers the teeth. Cutting this wire won't stop the bomb. It's safe. <sighs> Hold on. Getting some strange readings off the bomb. I'll do a more thorough analysis and let you know what I find. What's that? Love, your best enemy. This is all just a game to him. All of the suffering and death, just for a laugh. Got something. The paint on the bomb, it's made of a unique solvent mixture. I cross-referenced it with the chemical manufacturers in Gotham. Got a few hits. Send the list to the agency. Done. GCPD officers are being sent to scout the locations. Nice work. I'll keep looking, see what else I can find. We have a lead on potential locations. Oh, good. Iman. Destroying Riddler's blood. It was a terrible mistake. It escalated the situation on the bridge with Harley. 
everything spiraled out of control into this. And now we have Joker. I see how I helped to create this monster. Now that I've seen the destruction firsthand. You can't feel guilty, Yvonne. But it turned out wrong. You did what you thought was right. A lot of people died today because of it. A lot more might die. Ma'am, backup is here. We have EOD on standby. What are your orders? I guess this is our opportunity to keep that from happening. Get EOD prepped for disposal. No one comes in here without my express consent. Batman. They say you should never meet your heroes. I'm pretty sure they're wrong. It's done, Waller. So I heard. Good work. I've got Gordon on the other line, says he has a lead. But he'll only talk to you. I trust you'll handle and report back. Patching you through. Jim. Hey, Batman, I've got a lead on Joker. A uh, solid one. I'm at Ace Chemicals. I need you to meet me... Uh, damn it, Batman. I can't do it. Can't do what? <laughs> you can go to hell, you son of a bitch! Gordon. my new friend if you beat him to death.
The map, I promised. All the bomb sites are marked with a smile. <laughs> My gift for you, new best friend. Isn't that right, Gordy? No, that nickname doesn't work. Uh, Jim. Jimmy! Jimmy here led you right to me. There was no way we could meet their demands. Joker offered me the bomb locations in exchange for you. I, I couldn't go through with it. Oh, don't beat yourself up, Jim Jim. I've got people to do that for you. <laughs> Besides, you were the perfect bait. <sighs> I'm sorry, Batman. I shouldn't have even considered making a deal. <laughs> I understand, Jim. You did what you had to. Take the map and get out of here. Okay, you Jimbo. Run along and save Gotham. <laughs> Jim! Just not too fast. I still have lots to do before my other half finds out I gave away the map. <laughs> Dump him in his car. <laughs> He'll bleed out. You need to get him to a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hospital. We blew it up, remember? <laughs> you need to pay more attention. <laughs> that look! Right there. That's what I wanted to see. <laughs> you know, Dr. Nealon used to say anger is often a response to feeling powerless. You think maybe? That's why you're so mad. Because I'm on top. Because I have you completely in my power. Because the tables have turned. This therapist you keep talking about, she did a terrible job. On the contrary, I'm the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> I was in such a dark place before. Now, everything is light. Jimmy's just the first, you know. I have plans for all your friends. Not all of them have to die. Just whatever hurts the worst. Like with Gordy, you two will spend the rest of your days knowing what you had is poisoned. Harley's gonna be upset, of course. She wanted the whole city to drink virus mimosas. Someone would have survived like Riddler, and she'd have gotten her serum. You think she'll forgive me when she finds out? About the map, I mean. But nothing less would get Chief of Mustache to flip. I just had to have your staunchest frenemy betray you. Couples come back from wars, don't they? That's not, uh, irreconcilable differences, is it? <laughs> she'll kill you the minute she finds out. I know that. Deep down inside, you always said I had a self-destructive streak, Dr. Leland. Oh, yeah. Thing is, Harley's perfect the way she is. <laughs> and if she does get sick, I'll be there to take care of her. John. Oh, well, hasn't this just been illuminating? We laughed, we cried, it changed our lives. Just goes to show you can't trust anyone in Gotham, can you? But I know you'll keep my map secret. Because if you tell Harley, she'll just set the bombs off early, exploding Gordon's dreams of being a hero. And who wants that? John? It's Joker! Sit! Play dead! Good boy!
what? I'll let you get back at him for getting you into this. Or I could just leave. You could let me go. If you press that button, one right there, you'll have the chance to go free. Which will, in turn, trap Bruce forever. So, I'm giving you three whole seconds. One, two, three! Congratulations! You did it! Selena... Bruce, it's... What a dramatic turn of events! Bruce witnessed your terrible, awful, just despicable betrayal. I hope it hurts! Now, you kids play nice. Unless you want to end up like the other losers. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Eye for an eye. You left me in one of Riddler's contraptions. So effortlessly. It made the decision... quite easy. I'm sorry I did that. It was stupid. I get that now. <laughs> well, it's a start. But apologies aren't getting us out of here anytime soon. Just get out of the cart so we can get on with this. Just give me a second to get free. <clears throat> no way to pick the lock. Are you...? Oh, I hate having to do that. are electrified. It's too far to just reach my head inside. How did you end up here? The agency nabbed me. From Waller with love. I mean, it wasn't hard, seeing as how you left me in a box for them. They threw me in a transport. Then the next thing I know, the truck's flipped on its side by an explosion. They took all of us. I'm the only one left. Can't escape until I get that key. The electricity cooked them alive. We gotta get out of here. Great, now push the key to me. I'll unlock the door between us. It only unlocks from my side. She's telling the truth! But she can also take that key and get out, leaving you trapped. And unable to help the other dinner guests. Because you 
No, she won't. What do you say, Bruce? You're going to trust a thief. The consequences could be electrifying. <laughs> All right, coming your way. Really? Damn it. Hope I don't regret this. connected to the floor. One of these agents tried that, but... I appreciate the trust. It was unexpected. <sighs> Just take it slow. This will do the job. Riddler. Lucius Fox. Martha Wayne. Thomas Wayne. John Doe. What is this? There's such a thing as pacing, Bruce! Get back to digging! Dig up the truth. I'll 
God. You're so good at pulling people's hearts out of their chests, Bruce. What's one more? <sighs> Something underneath. Just pulling every string, aren't you? Yes! The way name takes another victim. His shady dealings got a loved one killed. Will history repeat itself tonight? <laughs> What's he trying to say? John Doe is dead. There's only Joker now. Place them all. What the hell? Someone's in there. I can't get it open. I'll find something else. Tiffany. for hours. How did you end up in there? And are you hurt? I'm okay. I'm okay now. Alfred lost touch with you at the Ace Chemical Plant. I tracked you. I wanted to help. I ended up here. What is it? The final sticker. It looks like... That's you. So what? Joker thinks you killed Riddler. I... Uh, uh, I'm not sure why. It's just... Bruce, I can't. Hey, you can tell me. Joker's right. I killed Riddler. 
You killed Riddler. I... I'm not proud of it. And who are you? Riddler's friend. Selina! I came to this town to avenge you. <laughs> this is exactly what Joker wants. Us at each other's throats. Your friend killed my father. She's Lucius Fox's daughter. Tiffany. Tiffany in because of your precious code. Turn to your old friend Gordon of the GCPD. Wait! You got him fired! No, no, wait. He's not your friend anymore. He betrayed you. <laughs> God! What a mess you've made! Dinner is about to be served. Bruce, when this is over, we're gonna talk, right? You can count on it. <laughs> Welcome! Finally! So glad you could join us! <laughs> it's got a head explosion set in two! So play along. Nice. People never take the time to eat a meal together these days. And since you care about these folks, well, as much as you care about anyone, you'll be a good little guest. You'll play along, won't you, buddy? Old chum. Wow. Quite the turnout. People you've kidnapped, people you pay, and a lunatic who cares more about hair dye than you. Aw, oh, John. Don't have any real friends. Uh, I worked hard on that! Oh, Bruce is cranky. Probably just forgot to eat breakfast. Let's get some food in you. Open up! Come on. Go on. Put your lips on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hungry. But we've got to get it into his stomach somehow. Don't want him to starve. Honey, wait! There's your, you know, thing. We don't want to kill him just yet, right? <laughs> I got so caught up, I... Thanks for having my back, Puddin. You're so good to me. <laughs> Alfred! He came as soon as he heard you and Tiffany would be here. You he assured me no one would get hurt. No. I said that people would get hurt if you didn't come. Not the same. You brought scones! Uh, stay clear of that one. Came out a bit charred. Well, luckily, Master Bruce has never been picky. They look good, don't they? Want one? 
Wow! This thing is real silver, huh? Yeah, why not? The one on the right. Uh, of course, you want the best one. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I just love hitting you. <laughs> Since the guests are all here, I want to show them the main course. That's a great idea. I'll have my pick of all of Gotham soon. So I'm kind of hoping the survivor ain't one of you. Doesn't that look good? Old family recipe. Hope you're all hungry. <laughs> Quite the dish. So where are the rest of these planted? I have a friend who... <laughs> That's not polite dinner conversation, Bruce. Do you really want Harley killing the whole town before we eat? <sighs> that might ruin your appetite. And Gordon, well, he won't even have a stomach left. So just play along, like I taught you. Good. Good. <sighs> Don't make them like they used to. Gordon, I think it's time. I mean, not yet. We wanted to play with them a little longer, right? Uh, right. Again, three rounds, one for each of Bruce's friends. Let's get to know just how awful each of you truly is. Think of it as your last confession. Raise a hand, or lose it. That's right, fingers up. Alfred's going to get this party started. Read it. <clears throat> Never have I ever lied to a friend. Now, the way that this works is, if you have lied to a friend, finger goes down. I know, your dad's a crime lord. It's really tough to tell a tween. Your turn. Pretty simple rules. Well... And now, if you've lowered a finger, I get to do something terrible to you. Not you, of course. Never have I ever used a friend. All of it. Manipulated them just to get what I want. Made them think they meant more to me than they did. We both know where you stand on that one. Good kitty. Not you, Puddin'. You do you, hun. I got the cats. Thanks, babe. Bruce! <laughs> Next up, Tiffany. Never have I ever. You know what? I'm not doing this. 
Don't test us, lab rat. Test you? If I didn't have a gun to my head, I'd kill you just like I killed Riddler. Tiffany! And it'd be a whole lot easier. Because unlike you two, Riddler was smart. What did you say? I think the gal who fell into our trap just called us dumb. <laughs> maybe we hit her too hard on the head. Or maybe not hard enough. If there wasn't a point zero zero one percent chance that you might survive the virus, I'd kill you right now! Read. Never have I ever killed a person in cold blood. Oh. Didn't know the Girl Scout had it in her, did ya? Finger down, Brucie. You murdered John Doe. And it was as cold-blooded as you can get. And good riddance. Guy didn't have a lot going for him anyway. It's not true! He had everything! And you took it from me! Hun, he don't matter. Not anymore. You see what he does? Man, I really dodged a bullet, didn't I? You're a freaking mess. Look at these people you surround yourself with. Liars. Thieves. Murderers. And you think you're too good for me? I am so glad we're not friends. Puddin, I'm done waiting. You got what you wanted, right? Yeah, I did. Let him die a little sooner than the rest of the city. Goodbye, Bruce. John, come on. Don't let her kill me. <laughs> Hun, wait! You gotta be kidding me. It's just... We've been having fun, right? This ain't happening. Stabbing him, hitting him, emotionally torturing him. Pudding. I, I kinda just... I, I don't want it to end. Oh my god! Are you serious right now? I try so hard to make you happy! But you're never gonna get over him, are you? I'm going to kill you, babe! You gotta... He defused the bomb! to kill all of you! Alright, you clowns. Time to... I'm sorry, baby. Can't we just kill and make up? Let's start. With the killing pot. See how we go from there. That's a problem. Move! Bruce, what should Tell I... Tell the GCPD where we are. 
I can't let these two escape. You got it. I should have killed you the moment I met you. Let's give it to him. Cute couple. They'll be cuter with their brains bashed in. Sure, Harley stays put. Go finish this. This ain't over until I say it's all. <laughs> The shadow within your shadow. The tumor lurking in your soul. <clears throat> you broke my heart, John. I did need you. I cared about you. But you took what I gave you and you twisted it into something ugly and wrong. Ugly? Wrong? If you ever loved me, you'd see what we have now. It's beautiful! <laughs> What a joke. <laughs> you should see your face. <laughs> John. John. <sighs> it's erratic. Come on! Come on! Please! Me. 
could have let me die. No one would have blamed you. You need to face justice for what you've done. <laughs> you really love that word. Justice. You hide behind it. You think it forgives all your sins. <laughs> Remember that night, drinking frappes under the stars, you dishing out advice about the ladies, me finding out you were the bat. It was perfect. <sighs> you know, some part of me always knew. Someone like you, you'd never really be friends. With someone like me. But I wanted to believe it so badly. <laughs> we had some good times. Didn't we, Bruce? It wasn't all bad. Yeah, sure. Some of it was fun. <laughs> <sighs> I, I hope you'll look at that scar and remember those good times. You can sure take some punishment, Wayne. I'll give you that. Dish it out, too. I'm pulling my people out of Gotham effective immediately. I want you to know we're square. Your secret is safe with me. After everything you've done, it's only right. I'll seal your case file for good. Thank you. If the wrong people found out who I am... That's not going to happen. At least not because of me. Anything else we need to discuss? Or is this goodbye? Catwoman. I thought she'd be pretty high on your list. You two certainly have been close. I've got a collar on her for now. But seeing how she put herself on the line against Joker, maybe I'd be willing to take it off. As a token of my goodwill. Catwoman has a sordid past. Past? <laughs> I'd say present, with decent odds on future, too. I'll keep a lid on that, but give her a fresh start. Clear her record. What record? Anyone else you're concerned about? What about Jem? Joker hurt him pretty bad. They're saying he might not walk again, at least not without a cane. He saved thousands of lives with that map. Trading you like that? He's clearly been taking lessons from the Agency. I'm inclined to give him a medal. Maybe his old title, too, if he wants it. A tough old dog like him. He's good for a junkyard like Gotham. Jim deserves the highest honor. Like always, he put his duty first. It can't have been easy for him. So, what else? And Avesta, is she going with you? Poor Iman. You really got inside her head, didn't you? I know it was her that destroyed Riddler's blood. She's gonna have to answer for that. I need to be able to trust the people who work for me. You get that, right? I can't let a betrayal of that magnitude go unpunished. Let her come work for me. I'll find her a job at Wayne Enterprises. Is that what she wants? She should at least know it's an option. 
Okay, then. I'll mention it. She's pretty fond of Gotham. God knows why. And of you. You know, she loves that steak place on Clinton Street. Maybe you should take her sometime. I'll see you around. It's always possible, Bruce. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll be over the moon if I never have to come back to this wasteland. All teams accounted for, ma'am. Airlift is en route. Thank you, Agent. I'll be right there. We were able to pick up Miss Fox's trail. She's taken to the rooftops. Good. Stay with her until I tell you otherwise. Word is Tiffany Fox cop to Riddler's murder. Personally, I don't give a damn about what happened to that maniac. But I know how you feel about lethal force. I can bring her in if you want. Lay a charge on her. Unless that's something you'd rather take care of yourself. I'm aware of your history with her. With her father. Tiffany and I go way back. I'd rather deal with her myself. My people will let you know where to find her. <clears throat> Take care of yourself, Bruce Wayne. Tiffany, we need to talk. Yeah, I figured. I made it, thinking someday I'd be fighting by your side, not running from you. I was working up the courage to tell you. Joker? He just... guessed it somehow. Said he knows another psychopath when he sees one. It was almost a relief to admit it. I'm sorry you found out that way. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. Why didn't you talk to me sooner? I... I wanted to work with you, to be part of your mission. But you kept this from me. A murder? I know. I'm sorry. I knew this would ruin everything. You were right. Riddler tore my family apart, Bruce. My mother hasn't left the house since the funeral. And Luke? He just lashes out. My father's death broke them. It broke all of us. I won't ask for forgiveness. But I hope you can understand why I had to do it. I just felt so powerless. Like my life was crumbling around me. I had to do something to take back control. Please tell me you get that. Revenge is an impulse, one to be checked. I can't condone it, but I do understand it. Thank you. That means a lot. I couldn't bear it if you despised me. So, where do we go from here? I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list, rather than us working together. If you want to fill your father's shoes, you need to learn right from wrong. 
You need someone to teach you. you. You're giving me a second chance? Think of it more as a sentence. You'll have to work hard for your redemption. I promise I won't let you down. Then let's get started. I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You just need rest, Alfred. Why don't you take a long vacation? Like we talked about. Some place in the sun, and on the other side of the world from Gotham. I rather think this vacation will be permanent. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. Come on, Alfred. You know I can't do what I do, what we do, without your help. Well, maybe you don't have to do it at all. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore, at least not to me. Now everything has become so grey. <laughs> grey? Talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. Well, it worked, didn't it? If you call citywide devastation a success. You led John Doe to believe you were his friend. Turning on him when he killed those agents, that pushed him to become Joker. What's your point? Sometimes, it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. I'm not blind to the damage I cause, nor am I to the chaos that swirls in Gotham. But I have to believe the good outweighs the bad. I thought you did too. Not anymore. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better. As if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the beginning. She was on Joker's guest list because of her relationship to you. Selina, too. It's a miracle any of us survived that ghastly dinner. But Joker certainly made his point. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. You think I want that? We can fix the problem, Al, but not if we run from it. Unless we are the problem. Leaving this all behind might be the only solution. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Alfred, I'm... 
I'm so sorry. I've caused you so much pain. No, no, please don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just like you. Not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Okay, maybe I am more like my father than I want to admit, but our paths are different. Can't you see? The paths may diverge, but they end in the same place. Face down in an alley, shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I've been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I've failed you, and for that I'm sorry. You did the best you could, Al. In a single night, the family was shattered, and you were left to pick up the pieces. I may have picked them up, but I did a poor job sticking them back together. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. Alfred, wait. Would you stay? If I promised things would be different. Is that a promise you can keep? Like you said, there are a lot of ways to help. I'm sure the city could use a man of my talent and resources. Are you sure about this? I'll do whatever it takes to keep our family together, Al. Even this. So please. Tell me you'll stay. Well, maybe just one more night.
We had so much fun, Joker. I just couldn't stay away. I knew you wouldn't be able to, Bruce. Let's get you ready.